Hi, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial today for more mature ladies. So whether you fit into that category yourself or whether you want to help your mother or your aunties or your grandmother with her makeup, I'm going to do a really modern, simple makeup look that will work for everyone and include lots of tips. I have a gorgeous model today called Yvonne and um, she's beautiful. So I hope you like it. So I'm going to start by using Bobbi Brown Tinted Moisturising Balm and this is light to medium. And the reason I'm going to use this is because it doesn't stick in any lines that you may have. You can actually put it on with fingers. I'm going to use a brush but it goes on perfectly well with um, fingers. It's just like a tinted moisturiser. It has a, enough coverage to even out the skin tone and leave a really lovely fresh finish. And it smells quite good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go all over and this will, you'll see that it's not going to emphasise any lines. It's super, super moisturising. This is one of my favourite products to use on an, an older skin. And you can actually build this up quite a bit without having anything sit in any areas where we don't want it to sit. But we can kind of get a lovely even skin tone. Okay, so I've just put a bit of concealer on the back of my hand. I've used some of the Wake Me Up from Rimmel Concealer. You don't want loads of light reflection under your eyes because um, it can look quite white as you're getting older and you don't want anything that's too heavy. So I'm just going to use a very small amount, just where there's a little bit of darkness there in the corner. We don't need a lot around the outside. We need less than you think. So just into the inner corner and pat really smooth everything in nice and moisturizing again and quite sheer so it's not going to um, catch anywhere so before i finish off any concealer i'm going to use a little bit of blusher and this is um, number 18 and this is one of the miracle touches by max factor so again a really nice dewy formulation extremely sheer so we can just melt that in with the moisturizing balm to give a little bit of a healthy glow, not, not too much. We're just going to kind of really blend that into the skin. Keep it looking very modern, so not just at the front here, but right up, so it's on quite a, a big area. We don't just want sort of two little pink dots there. So I'm just going to use a, a little bit of Vichy Derma Blend. This is number 25 to cover this little scratch here. So this is obviously quite a heavy product, so we don't want it anywhere other than just on the scratch here. So this is great for just getting rid of anything that you want to completely conceal. You hardly need to use any. Your scratch is gone. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then if you want to, you could put a little bit on just one little mark there, just to soften those down. And one there. So we're keeping everything nice and dewy and fresh. Okay, on to eyes, and I think I'm going to use this Lid Smoothie by Clinique, which is a very easy product to use. You can apply it with fingers. Um, it's not too shimmery, so it's not going to be sort of glittery. And I think this is going to be a great colour with your grey hair. It's a slightly mauvey, sheer wash of colour. And I think as you get older, you actually need more makeup around your eyes in terms of defining makeup. Than you do when you're younger you know people say well I can't, I'm older so I can't wear any makeup on my eyes and I think that's the time to wear a bit of makeup on your eyes because a little bit goes a long way if you just use mascara even or a little bit of liner it's amazing how much more defined your whole face looks how much more um, definition it gives it doesn't have to be anything complicated so that's a little bit of I'm not going to go with anything too warm because it'll clash with your hair, it'll probably look orangey if I use a sort of golden brown or something. Um, so we'll stick with these slightly cooler colours. So next I'm going to use this trio of eyeshadows called Cappuccino by um, number seven. And it's a mixture of a sort of slightly mauvey brown and a kind of flat brown. It's not completely matte. I don't mind a little bit of shimmer on um, more mature lids. I think it's quite nice, but I don't like very shimmery and I certainly um, think if it gets you know metallic it's not a great idea so it's very simple I'm using it a little bit darker at the outer edge here 
and the main thing we want is no harsh lines anywhere so just really keep everything soft we don't want any anything really really heavy yes you have i don't want my eyes to look droopy no exactly you don't want to drag them down next i'm going to use a pencil and i think pencil is essential um this is a dark gray by l'oreal actually just close your eyes for me yvonne i'm going to do little circles just into the roots of lashes because again we don't want necessarily a dramatic line and then you can blend over that with a q-tip or even just smudge with fingers or whatever this is a long lasting one so it's it'll smudge but then it'll set and then if you look ahead Yvonne you just start to see it just gives that definition it just gives you know the lashes look thicker everything looks kind of healthier but it doesn't feel extremely made up it looks modern it doesn't look like it's hard work and it, it, it isn't you know just keep blending and keep it simple and then underneath we want something very soft but again a little bit of definition if you look up for me Yvonne I'm going to put about three dots here one there a couple there and one there and then smudge in mainly just at the outer corner there so you're getting that little bit of again a little bit of definition so on to lashes and I'd like to just give them a little curl if that's all right Yvonne absolutely look down for me I'm going to just tweak tweak up those edges just to really open eyes oh it's made a huge difference I'm going to use organic glam um, mascara this is the black one and um, this is a really nice mascara because I find it look down for me really stays on let's give it a little wipe through there it's open for me it's, it looks so pretty so that's mascara on the top lashes um, I'm not going to do the bottoms yet because um, we're going to let that dry, that mascara. I am going to do a bit of brows. I'm going to use the Suku pen because this is so subtle. We don't want harsh brows on a, on a more mature face. We want something really, again like the eyeshadow, something that works. It's defining, but it's not hard. Just to fill out the shape. And once it dries, it dries waterproof and it doesn't smudge, which again is a nice bonus. And be careful of putting too much sort of here, it just becomes very hard very, very quickly. And then I'm just gonna put a little couple of hairs there, but not many. And now the other side, same thing. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is put some mascara just on, on your lower lashes, if that's all right, Yvonne. Just look up for me. I'm just going to touch the roots mainly and if you find that it transfer you could try using a waterproof mascara and a nice small brush so avoid the really big big brush mascaras because um, if your lashes are quite small you're going to end up getting it everywhere and then you can use a comb or an old mascara brush mm. that you wash so we'll come back to eyes in a second when that mascara is dry underneath but let's do a little bit of lips i'm going to use this lip pencil this is by number seven this is just the nude just to give it a little bit more of a definite shape but without drawing a line if you know what i mean so it's defining those edges but also blending in definition without harsh edges let's put a little bit blend a little bit over the lips as well as a kind of base and then over the top of that i'm going to use a sheer tinted lip balm this will keep them looking nice and moisturized but it's not shimmery it's not too glossy it's a modern stain but again it's got definition we're just trying to uh, avoid the barbara cartland effect here <laughs> most people probably don't know who barbara cartland is but if, if you google her You'll find out. <laughs> We're keeping it modern. <laughs> We're not going for the, the fuchsia pink lip liner. Okay, so back to eyes. And um, now that things are settling down there, I'm going to add a little bit more definition. So look up for me. I'm just going to put a little bit more pencil here. And I think sort of build up slowly as it's kind of settling in. I think just while you're... Because I haven't done Yvonne's makeup before, but while you're getting to know your own 
how much you can take and what looks good. Just keep stepping back and looking in the mirror and adding a bit more if you need to. You know, it's better to put less on and then add more and, you know, evaluate it and look at yourself in daylight as you go along rather than going straight in with the full amount. Look up for me, Ron. Let's blend that pencil in there. Really soft and defining. And then that outer corner, make sure you don't keep going down because you really drag the eye down. We don't want anything. Where the bottom sort of haze comes in, this little smudge here, we don't want anything to sort of go underneath that. So keep that whole area nice and clean. And then a bit of definition on the top and you can blend that up like so and smudge it. Still be nice and defining, but it just won't drag down those corners. I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer. This is a bourgeois one. Just to warm up, just a touch um, around the edge here. It's not um, a shimmery one and it's quite sheer. If you put it on nice and light especially. Just warm things up and keep everything nice and blended as well. Okay, so that is a kind of nice makeup. That would be a sort of quite defined day look or if you were going to a lunch with friends or something like that. But I think if you were going out in the evening, I know you've brought me your lipstick here, which is a tinted lip balm from Burt's Bees and it's quite a dark red shade. Um, so I'm going to put some of yours on. We're going to up the ante a little bit. So put a slightly deeper lip on for... Um, an evening. I think it's nice to have a bit of colour on your lips, as long as it's not too, you know, intense, like a really, really um, opaque, drying, sort of matte formulation. I think colour on your lips works beautifully. I think that, and a little bit of pencil smudgy on the lashes, a little bit of mascara, this really defines everything. One last thing I want to do actually, what if you've got if you've used a little bit of bronzer or something to warm your skin up and there's a tiny bit left on the brush, so not much, just look up for me. Just go under there. It just warms things up because sometimes you can go a bit light under the eyes um, as you get older because you kind of have your skin can get a bit darker and this can get a bit white. So I always think that just finishes things off nicely and I think you know the main points for me would be definition but without any harsh lines so especially around the eyes mascara a little bit of pencil get that kind of definition going and when it comes to skin never try and paper over the cracks as, as you know people say because it just doesn't work if you put heavy foundation on or something that's drying it's going to sit in all the lines, it's going to emphasise them, you're going to make yourself look much, much older. And by just using something fresh and balmy that you can kind of work with and blend into the skin, you know, I think if anything, it's going to um, detract, it's going to bring light to the face and that's what, what you want really. You want that light and vitality and and all of that. I love it. It's just enjoy your lines. Yeah, Embrace enjoy. your lines and, and, and work with them. Absolutely. Because they're there. I love it. I'm really amazed. It's Thank so you. good. Thank you. Thank you.